Hello, Husky's back again with more Dallas Stars GM Mode Rangers Mode Commentary. Our uh, last video, we we, well, we won the cup. Big time plays were made. Uh, ben Sagan, Tavares all showed up. Big time. And we were able to take it home. Now we, my big kind of roster move that I was looking to make before the playoff run, and even kind of during the early portions of it, was uh, replacing Laner. Now, <laughs> something that was posted in the comments of the last video was, I probably don't have a right to move him, at least right now, because we did just win a cup with him. And he played significantly better in the last two series. So I'm going to hang on to him. Now that being said, I'm not against moving him if a better option comes up, but there has to be somebody really good in free agency that would get me to actually want to make a move for him. So what I think I'm going to try to do is grab a young prospect goalie and in the time that Laner can stay the starter, hopefully we can get this kid to being a quality player. So we've got a second rounder in Clifford, he's a fringe starter. And then we've got Fortier, who's a fringe starter as well. Um, where was my, where's my Swedish goalie? There he is. AHL starter, really? Huh, I'll have to keep an eye on him, because, I mean, he was scouted as a starter. Uh, this Clifford kid might actually be a starter, so I'm going to hang on. Uh, this is going to be a, probably be a goalie-heavy draft, if I'm honest. Uh, but it does not seem to be Jared Spurgeon, huh? Jared Spurgeon for my first-round pick next year and my second-round pick this year. Interesting. What's his overall? He's an 84. I don't think I need him. Like, as much as I kind of want to take that deal... Uh, yeah. No, I mean... Heeskin and Carlson played really well, and Heeskin should get a boost. Whereas Carlson might top out at like an 80, but, I mean, he's not making any money, so... I'm not too upset with holding on to him. So, as tempting as that offer is, that second round pick is kind of important to me. Matthias Ekholm for my first round pick next year. See, that's tempting because it's next year's first, but I don't think Ekholm's worth it. He's probably like an 83. Yeah, he is. Yeah, no, I don't want... These are bottom-of-the-barrel, like, name defensemen. Oh, see, now this one is a little more interesting because... Vuclair, he's a top six forward. He's 19, low top six. And my first round pick next year for Spurgeon, but my cap space, really, I can't afford to take that on. And he's going to want to be a top 4D man. My 4D men have already been set. Um... I didn't even have a first round pick this year, damn. I kinda wanna see what the first overall pick was. 81 overall, holy shit. That's pretty good. 81, 80, 78, so the first three picks are all gonna be playing in the NHL this year. Were there any goaltenders taken? Uh, playmaker defensive, I'm just kinda quickly scrolling through to see. Uh, there was not a goalie taken in the first round. How about the second round? Oh, that kid did get taken. Oh no, that's a different goalie. Kane was a starter. Oh, Clifford was an elite goalie. Damn it. Shit, man. What's his trade value if I go to St. Louis? Can I make a trade for him? Oh man, I missed out big time on that. Missed out big time. Goaltenders. Oh man, it's through the roof. That was exactly what I needed, man. God, if I was a piece of shit, I'd go back and re-record this video just so I could draft him. Fuck. It's alright. Damn it, man. So far, all the goalies have been starters. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so much. It's alright. It's okay. Uh, French starter, French starter. I'm gonna take the guy I scouted. What was he? Uh, show me starter. Fringe starter. Not the best. Not the best. That sucks. 
Chris Tanev for a first in Buclair. Chris Tanev is a very good defenseman. But again, five million dollars. He's an eighty-four. Let's see, he's thirty-one. My trade value, my trade block must have thirty and up. As it's Matthias Ekholm, no thank you. Matthias Ekholm, no thank you. I don't want Ekholm of anybody. Of any of these guys, I would possibly take ten of. God, they McMuffin. Come on. Oh, there's so many good goalie picks that I should have made that I didn't make. Disappointed in myself. Top four D-man undrafted. I, mean, I can't just sort by exact. I thought that was something I could do. Oh man. A couple of fringe stars, a couple of bottom sixes. Um, I'm gonna take that Finnish or the Swedish goalie at some point. But I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna take this. I, I know he's undrafted, but I'm gonna take him anyway. Maybe we'll get lucky. Let's see. Ooh. Low top four. Alright, not bad. I wish I could have taken fucking Clinton McMuffin. <laughs> guy's got the best name ever. Tampa Bay just traded for Spurgeon. No, they're getting even better. Stop it. That's the last thing I want to see. Neil Hanner just got traded to the Islanders. True. PK Subban's on the trade block. Goddamn. Alright, I'm probably going to take that goaltender before I forget and somebody grabs him. So, Sustrum. Come on, show me low elite. Low elite, low elite, low elite, low elite. Medium starter. I'll take it. That's kind of what we needed. Luke Shen, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Johansson to the St. Louis Blues. God damn, there's some big trades going down this draft. Uh, top nine forward. Uh, I'm going to stick with the Swedes and I'm going to take a power forward. I see this is the only downside to winning the cup is I don't get to see what my draft picks overall is right away. Medium bottom six. All right, not bad. So far, the worst pick has been my first pick, which was the fringe starter. Matthias Ekholm and Stone for a first. What the hell? Man, they do not like their defense. Is that Mark Stone? Michael Stone. Yeah, no thanks. Man, they're really trying to get rid of Ekholm. Get out of here. I don't want him. I mean, they got a low elite right there. God damn it. All right, so let's see, what do we got here? We got a medium top six D-man, low top nine. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the, uh... actually, we're gonna take Laflamme, medium backup. All right, so, I mean, we have a few goalie prospects we can kind of pick through. Sustrom was definitely the best one. I'm pretty sure I'm saying his name correctly. God, I can't believe that. I missed out on two quality goaltenders. Oh, that sucks. I thought Clifford ended up being an elite goaltender, and then McMuffin was a starter. Just wanted him for his name, in all honesty. Alright, so who do I have to sign? I have $12 million. Who do I have to sign? Uh, I don't have to sign a lot of people this year. I have to sign a lot of people next year, though. That's in the system. All experience. So I got to sign Yamamoto, Shahan, Foxa. Um, I'm actually going to sign Carter Hutton real quick. Because he's played really well for us. Oh, he's 35, though. Never mind. I'm going to let Carhartt and go. Uh, I would have held on to him, but being as though he's 35, I doubt he's going to be an 81 when the season starts. Uh, let's hit up Yamamoto with a contract offer. Uh, I feel like he's going to get better, so I'm going to try to sign him for four years at $4 million. We'll see if he takes that. I doubt he does. I lowballed him a little bit too hard. Riley Shahan's played really well. He only wants a one-year deal. What Foxa? Foxa, I'll give that. I'll lower it a little bit. But he had some clutch playoff goals for us. Another low quality, or quality bottom six guy here. So we'll throw that at him. What about Carlson? What do you want? 1.9? Alright, so let's see which of these guys signs. I'm really hoping Yamamoto takes that 4x4 four four deal. Or 4x4 four four deal. That would be clutch. He'll probably want more money though since I offered him more years. Carlson accepted, Foxy rejected, Yamoto rejected, Baptiste rejected, but okay. So we got Carlson back for a cheap on the cheap. Just gotta get Yamamoto back on a cheapish deal, we'll be okay. Maybe save myself some 
cap space for free agency if I can. So let's do three years and we'll do 4.3 and see if he signs. Because that'll give me a good window of what his overall is going to be. I really don't want to sign Shan for that much, but it's only a year. Maybe he'll take a bit of a hit. Radic Foxa. Try 1.8. Alright, so let's see if they sign for that. I want to at least get to free agency and see what's out there. And if there's something out there, uh, I'll look for opinions on it. I mean, my team's pretty much set. Come on. Alright, Fox accepted. Yamamoto accepted. Shahan rejected. That's a little disappointing. I don't have much cap space left after those two signed, so... If I shine Shahan, that is. So, I mean, I don't have a... Like, I don't really need much on this team. I mean, we're pretty much set. Which is kind of unfortunate that nothing really needs to change. I just don't want to pay him. I mean, it's only one year. Let's see if he signs for 1.8. Uh, Hanson. Oh, he wants a two year. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. He wants a one year, so we'll qualify him. Nyberg will qualify. Let him go. Qualify. Actually, it's easier just to do it this way. Qualify. Alright, so goaltenders in the system. So we got Fortier, Tukinen, Oliver, Sustrom, Laflamme. Sustrom's already 20 years old though. That's disappointing. I didn't notice that shit. I'm sure somebody noticed that. I missed that. Damn. Alright, that's okay. Actually, I might as well sign this guy. He's 19. Medium backup. Maybe he'll turn into something. Alright, so let him walk. What do we got for free at UFAs? Oh, these are all rookies, so I can sign them. Mm -hmm. These are all decent, like, overall, or potential guys, so... Just something to kind of maybe throw in a trade if I need to make one. But again, our team's pretty much... I mean, I think I did a good job at balancing... Uh, cap space and youth, so I really don't have to Shahan rejected again, huh? He really does not want to sign for less than three. I really don't think I'm gonna find a better player though that does the same role he does. Like I don't understand how anybody on this team has no morale. Like we just won the Stanley Cup. Greenoff makes 3.4. Man, Shahan was such a good... Like, was he... What was he statistically? Plus 12, 34 points. Oh, man. I can't justify 3 point... Was it 3 million? I can't justify 3 million for an 82 overall. I just can't. I'm gonna let him walk, and we're gonna see what's in free agency. Because, I mean, he's a third line two-way forward. And those are pretty much a dime a dozen. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see what's out there. We'll see if that comes back to bite me in the ass. I don't think it should, but I have enough cap space to make a move if I want to. All right. So, holy crap! Free agency's bad. <laughs> wow. Nick Bukestad's an 83. Thomas Tatar, Nick Foligno, Henrik Sedin, Brayton. Henrik Sedin's still going, huh? Patrick Marlowe, Joe Thornton, Thomas Hickey. God, the free agency is bad. But it's going to be like rich in goaltending, isn't it? Oh, he's 34. All right, never mind. I got all excited there for a second. I have to sign a goaltender? Shit. Picard's probably the guy I'm going to go with. Pickard. Uh, I'm gonna throw Felino an offer. He's a little bit better than uh, what's his face? The only issue is if I do that, then I can't sign. Let's see if Carter Hutton will come back on the cheap. 
I mean, if nothing else, Shadehand wanted less. I mean, he's an 81 instead of an 82. Chris Tana for a first or second answer. Get out of here. I want Tana. Alright, we're going into the calendar to do this. This is too slow. Come on, guys. Sign. Ooh, Felino went to the Jets. And Carter Hutton rejected because it was not high enough salary. Kevin Shattenkirk for Sustrom in a first. I just drafted this kid, man. Why would I trade him? Shattenkirk's an 85. It's tempting. It's very tempting. But I don't need a top four defenseman. I don't know why this keeps telling me this. My top four defensemen are Barry, Klingberg, Shea, and somebody. <laughs> I don't remember who the fourth one is. I know he's quality, though. Shit, somebody signed what's his face? Shahan. God damn it. Well, that bit me in the ass. Uh, fuck. I need someone who's decent to it. Like, should I take a chance on one of these vets? I mean, imagine Joe Thornton or Patrick Marlowe playing with Yamamoto. I'm gonna sign Patrick Marlowe. I'll give you a one year, $4 million deal. Sure. And then with the cap space that I have left, I can sign uh, somebody. Should be able to sign. We'll see if Hutton takes that. He might not. That 750k might be a lot to him. God, that letting Shahan go really bit me in the ass. I was expecting free agency to not be a complete joke. Come on. Come on. Carter Hutton went to the caps. Alright, Patrick Marlowe signed though. So we've got... We have Patrick Marlowe who's going to play with... Yamamoto and somebody. I still need a goaltender though. Shit. Uh, I have 2.4 million. Oh, I have more than I thought. Um, what does Dubnik want for a year? Not much. I'll sign Dubnik for a year because I doubt he's going to be much better than a 35 or. He's 35, he's not going to get any better, he's not, probably only going to get worse, so. Let's see, have they fixed this yet? I mean, there hasn't been a, I haven't had it down on a patch, so. It does feel faster, though. I haven't recorded a video since last Thursday. This does seem significantly faster. Alright, so we got Devin Dubnik. So our goaltending tam tandem is Laner and Dubnik. Interesting, and we replaced Riley Shahan with... Patrick Marlowe, who's 41. He's going to be like a 75. He's going to be like Sedin was for me with... Uh... Oh, where did I have Sedin? Might have been Detroit. I don't remember where I... I think maybe it was Edmonton. I don't... Was it this team? I've done so many of these, I don't remember anymore. I just remember that I had Daniel Sedin for a couple years as he like... Maxed out on his age. And he was a beast. He was putting up 20 goals on the third line. It's like a 76. So I'm hoping that Patrick Marlowe can do the same. I mean, he's basically the same player. He should come in and be able to score, which that third line needs a goal scorer. So hopefully we can <laughs> get something going here. I'm interested to see what his overall is when the season starts. Because like I said, he is 41. He was an 80... He was a... What was he? Was, 81 before the season, so he'll probably be like a 78... Maybe playing with some young kids will, will show his youth and we'll have a he'll have a breakout season where he scores 30 goals. God, can you imagine that? 41-year-old Patrick Marler comes in and scores 30 goals on the third line. Alright, so where is he? He's on the fourth line. Alright, so I really don't want Yamamoto on the second line. He is a second line forward, though. He's got 93 offensive awareness. Sagan and Puyarvi. Oh, man. I... Mm. I know Sagan's a playmaker, but do I try that? Marlow can play center on that third line with Dickinson and Garinov, but that's two snipers on the same line. I might just leave Marlow on the fourth line with Fox and Baptiste and see if that works out. 
I really don't want Dickinson on. He is a third line scoring forward, though. I don't think Dickinson's going to get much better. I mean, he's 26, top six forward. Uh, or do I put Yamamoto with Tavares and Reinhardt and then run Ben, Sagan, Puyarvi? Because Ben and Sagan, I think, need to play together. Or do I put Yamamoto with Ben and Sagan and put Puyarvi with Tavares and Reinhardt? Uh, I'll leave that for the comments. Let me know who. What do you worry? I want Yamamoto in the top six, because I think Dickinson's capped out at 84. So give me your opinion on Yamamoto, first or second line. I want to keep Ben and Sagan together, so it's pretty much Puyarvi or Yamamoto. Uh, as for defense, Shea. Oh, Honka, 84. That's right. Lindell, Carlson. Oh, I want Heiskinen. Where's Heiskinen? Heiskinen's an 81. I might have to replace Carlson. And he hasn't really panned out like I'd hoped he would. And what are we looking at goaltender-wise? Robin Lander's up to an 86, so he went up one point. That's good, that's good. Dubnik's an 81, so... We brought in some vets. I mean, two. What do we have scratched? Hansen and Lindell. Alright, so I actually need to... Call up somebody. Robert Thomas? Uh, I really don't want to call him up, because he might turn into something down there. I don't want to call up anybody. Jason Robertson, he's a second round pick, he's a fifth round pick. Yeah, I really don't, I should call up a forward so that I have somebody that can step in, but I really don't want to take Thomas off the, he's a first round pick by the Blues. He might end up getting somewhere, so I don't, I kind of want to hold on to him where he is. But yeah, uh, I'm going to end the video here. I went a little longer than I wanted to. As always, comment section for... Uh, where should Yamamoto and Puyarv play? Should I keep it like this? Should I swap them out? Uh, and do you think I should look for a better defenseman than Carlson? I mean, he hasn't. He didn't play bad with Heiskanen, but he is not panning out to like I'd hoped he would. So yeah. Other than that, as always, if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like on it. And subscribe if you enjoy what I do on this channel and are interested when the next video goes live. Uh, usually they're Monday through Friday, but I keep forgetting to upload on Monday. Again, 12 hour days are getting the best of me. But last but not least, thank you for watching. And I will see you tomorrow for the start of year 5 and our cup defense.